hope you guys are doing good. Welcome back to my channel. Compliment of the season, it's holiday season. I hope you are spending it with your loved ones. Yeah, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. You're absolutely, absolutely welcome to my channel. I'm Wendy Temple. I create content on beauty, skincare, and wellness. So please do want to subscribe to my channel and turn on notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, ah uh ah -uh, uh -uh, you are my reviews. Thank you so much for always watching my videos. You guys are amazing. I can't love you less. Thank you so much for the love and support always. I do not take it for granted. So by the title of this video, you already know what we're going to be talking about. In my previous video on how to prevent your under eyes crazing, I asked you guys to suggest to me the kind of content you wanted me to create and the messages that I was getting was on full makeup tutorials and um, basic brushes that one needs as a beginner. The one that really um, got my attention was brushes, so that's why I'm doing this video. Let's just dive right into this video. The first brush you need is a spoolie brush. Spoolie brush is a basic brush that everyone needs. It's meant to be used to comb through, blend and shape your brows. You know, it looks like a mascara wand, minus the mascara. <laughs> so if you have an old mascara that you no longer use, you can just wash off the mascara and boom, you have a spoolie brush to use. The next brush you need is a foundation brush. Foundation brush is used to apply liquid or cream foundation evenly over your face and there are several types but a dense flat or angle brush works so well for me you can also use a beauty blender to apply and blend your foundation but make sure it's damp the main reason you should always wet your blender before use is to stop the sponge absorbing too many makeup if you apply your foundation to a dry sponge it will absorb it instantly and you will find yourself using and wasting a lot more products also a damp blender helps give the skin a cake free dewy finish in a matter of second so i like to use it for that flawless and natural look if you love to use cream contour products then angle brush is the perfect brush for you angle brush offer the more accurate application needed to follow the contour of the face you can use the same brush to apply your cream blush with cream blush you can use either a beauty sponge brush or your finger but my favorite brush to apply cream blush with is a taper or angle brush it gives me a better control and an even nicer result a small flat brush is essential to applying concealer to specific areas of your face. Using a flat brush helps to concentrate the product in your targeted areas such as the brow bone, under the eyes and more. One tool every makeup lover needs is a high quality concealer brush. With so many options available in the market, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But here is one of my favorite concealer brush from Retechnique. I use it to blend after applying the concealer, you know, but you can skip this part and just go in with your beauty blender to just blend out your concealer. But for me, I like precision. I like perfection, if you know me well. <laughs> so after applying it, I use this to blend out my concealer before moving to the next step. Another brush you need is a setting brush for setting powder, loose powder and pressed powder, you know, to dust on setting powder or a lighter. And I recommend the Retechnic setting brush. Honestly, the only thing I've not used this brush for is applying foundation. <laughs> Other than that, it has been used for pretty much everything. It's fluffy enough that it doesn't pick up too much product and small enough for more precise application. 
it does a good job of setting it on the eye powder brushes are usually big fluffy brushes and you use a powder brush to apply powder evenly across the face blush brush is a smaller version of a powder brush and you use it to apply blush right on the apples of your cheeks There are numerous eyeshadow brushes to choose from, but to get you started, a flat eyeshadow brush and a blending brush is essential. Use the flat brush to apply your desired eyeshadow to your eyelids. Now you can go in with your blending brush to blend out the edges of your eye shadow. Eyeshadow blending brush is designed to perfect any eyeshadow look. In conclusion, an angle eyeliner brush this brush can be used for eyeliner or fill in the brows. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this content. And also don't forget to suggest to me what content you want me to create next. Thank you so much guys for watching to the end. I love you. Right back. And compliment of the season.